Well, Bash is live tracking the storm. Yeah, Leon, we're right outside the queue where a light pole fell onto two cars, damaging them pretty badly. I'm going to step out of the way so you can take a look. Now, this family driving uh, from Cleveland back home to Kalamazoo, Michigan, they just got the pole off the car here in the last 30 seconds. The family had been sitting in the car for the last 15, 20 minutes, just waiting for the power company to get here to turn off electricity before they were able to move out of their car. Now, that light pole snapped when those strong winds moved through downtown. About 45 minutes ago, it just snapped right at the base, fell into the back of their car. I was talking to that family, their 12 year old daughter, her, her headrest, there's a pull right through her headrest, but luckily I'm so happy to tell you there are no injuries to report here. You can see that 12 year old daughter standing there. The back of their windshield is completely shattered, of course. They're still going to try to make that drive back to Kalamazoo, but they are cleaning up this street right now. Again, that light pole just snapped at the base falling into the back of this family's car. Luckily, no injuries to report. And another thing I can tell you, this family telling me they actually ran into a bear back in Michigan last week that totaled their car. So those insurance bills are really adding up for them. Again, that storm just moving through here about 45 minutes ago. But you can see right now we've got some stormy skies, but no rain. Live in downtown, Huma Bash, News Channel 5. Okay, Homa, and check